Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It's just a great, lovely day. We have a lot to talk about here. Thursday, July 23rd, 2020. So look, what happened? Stocks finished lower today. The Dow lost about 350 points. The Nasdaq took the biggest hit. Now, there were essentially two factors that drove today's sell-off. I don't know what's number one or what's number two. If I had to guess, I would say the number one thing is the increasing threats between China and the United States. Um, you know, like I said, are there no adults in the room? Can we really get nothing done? Uh, why are these these men in big lofty positions sitting here threatening each other back and forth. It was actually China today who's threatening retaliation and on trade with regard to what the Trump administration has been threatening to them. We just closed the consulate here in the United States. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just like romper room. And again, I just want to see one adult in the room. If we had one adult in the room, things would be a lot different here. You know, we were promised a deal. We got a cold war. And uh, there's no way to defend this right now. I'm sorry. I don't care what side of the aisle you do, you you're on. Uh, we were promised something. We got less than zero. In fact, we got something a lot worse here. Let's give credit where credit's due. President Trump is correct, a hundred million percent correct. China's been walking all over us for a long time, decades. Well, at least the man tried to do something. I'll give him that. But like I have said recently, he's got to admit that the deal is just not here. It's, we, there's no deal. Peter Navarro, a month ago today, admitted the deal is dead. President Trump comes right out on his Twitter feed. Oh, no, no, no. The deal is intact. Then he has Larry Kudlow parroting the same thing. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's a freak show. There's no deal. And the market knows there's no deal when it hears threats between, you know, threats are, are just for idiots, in my opinion. And uh, anyway, look, that's just what rattled the market. It caused crude oil to sell off. That sucked the market down with it. The 10-year yield dropped to uh, uh, 0.57. But this shouldn't surprise you. Two days ago, I did a video where I said, caution in this market. You know, I've also said that we need a pullback here. Is this a pullback? No, this is not a pullback. All right. Uh, and I'm not even at all disappointed that stocks failed today at all. And the NASDAQ took the biggest hit. Why? Because the Na NASDAQ put on the biggest gain. It's got to burn some off. I welcome this. I welcome it all. Uh, I added to every single position several times today, uh, some of them. Uh, that I am currently holding. And you lions out here, you people that subscribe to my free newsletter, there is a link in the description of this video. You know exactly what I did. I told you what I did. Anyway, um, so that's the story with the market. The second hit to the market was the freak show Republicans and the freak show Democrats can't agree. Duh, duh, duh. These are our elected officials. I have a theory. I think... I know this is going to sound far-fetched to you, and you might even laugh about it, but I think most members of Congress, including the president, are already, in some way, they're dead. And their bodies have been taken over by some hideous lying force. Uh, and they're just pulling the people along with them. I don't know. I have, it just doesn't seem normal to me that things are the way they are today. And it's not the fault of this party or the fault of that party. That's just to keep you divided, okay? It's a theater. You know that. So many people are polarized here, it's all by design. If you are polarized, if you will defend one party or the other or one individual with all you got, no matter what's in your face, well, then you know that you're being played like a grand piano. And there are throngs of you out here. It's very sad. So let's talk about a few other things. So I covered the markets here taking a hit. I told you why. Two factors. China threats. you got Congress, which is, I mean, come on now, really. Um, that's what drove the market to lower today. And, um, you know, we need to keep our eye on this. The more this plays out, 
the, the worse it gets for who? For the people. Just for the people. It doesn't, all this other stuff, you know, what does it really boil down to? Uh, America is falling. We are in free fall. The state of humanity, you know, I don't want to talk about that in a second. The state of humanity is in, is in such a horrid state of decay um, that, you know, just in the last week, I got, well, I just got one today. So four death threats, four death threats in the last week because of my stance on on the New World Order mask that they're trying to force people to wear. You know how I feel about it. I'm not even going to cover it. So I actually posted this on Facebook and Twitter and uh, a couple other places. I will no longer be posting anything with regard to masks anymore. All right. You all do what you want with them. I don't care. But uh, yeah, four death threats in the last week. One just about an hour ago. Okay. And, uh, you know, people are asking me to post the threats. Why would I do that? All this would do would empower those individuals that obviously follow my work. If I show their work, what their, their lovely threats on Twitter and on Facebook, and it got to be seen by thousands of people. Don't you think it would empower these 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 freaks? I mean, they're freaks, and I'm calling them freaks right here. I know you're watching my video, and uh, whatever you know, I got I got two very close friends. I keep them right here. You know, Smith and Wesson. Yeah. So uh, you remember that if you want to come and threaten me. Anyway, look. With with that said, here let's talk about a few other things. Silver ended up getting hit today. Silver is volatile. It's a very volatile metal. It swings a lot. Silver has put on like, what, 14% or more in the last few days, so we're going to give a little back. It's bullish. Gold did put on a gain today. Okay, I'd like to see gold give back a little bit as well. Nothing goes up in a straight line. You buy the pullback. It's that simple. If you're looking for, you know, I mean, with for me, for me, you know me already. You, you never sit there and say, oh, should I buy more? Oh, should I buy more? You're betting against the debt. You're betting against this this thing that we are in here, the, the, the central banks that are inflating by design so they can take over the world. That's why you're holding this stuff. It's incredible. Um, anyway, look, I think you get it. Uh, with regard to this market, let me just give you a big heads up here, okay? This is what I foresee, okay? Uh, going into August. I think August is going to be a very volatile month. Uh, let, let's see what the freak show Democrats and Republicans come up with with regard to more trillions of dollars uh, created out of thin air for stimulus and to support this market that they got to borrow from the Fed. Let's see what more rhetoric is going to come out of the mouth of uh, President Whatever hell his name is over there in China, I can't even say his name right, and every time I say it, I get made fun of G, X, I, whatever his name is. And then President Trump here, I mean, they're two, you know, you remember they were in love at one point? President Trump actually, go look it up for yourself, said that he and this other dude over there, you know, they were in love. Uh, and, you know, I'm all for love, man. I'm all about love. You know that. But uh, if you call this love, I, I don't know what to make of it. I mean, either the president's insanely naive uh, or, or something else is going on here. You know, I, I don't want to hear about beautiful letters. I don't want to hear about love. We were promised a deal and we got a cold war. And it, I mean, you can't deny that that's what we are in. We are in a cold war. There is no deal. Someone's got to freaking admit there's no deal and start over here. I, I told you, every day for the president with regard to this is a chance to turn it all around. All he's got to say is, you know what, American people? I tried. And he did try. He did try. It just didn't work. So get somebody in there who can actually get something done. Doesn't have to be the president either. It could be some other negotiator that can actually get in here and get a real deal. Um, but we're not going to get one. There's no way. China's laughing. They're pulling the strings. They're driving our market too. It's uh, it's a pathetic, pathetic thing to watch. Uh, really, a sitting American president becoming a puppet by another nation. I mean, come on now. Uh, I said earlier, with regard to what's going on, 
a rabid, deformed rodent could do a better job at governing our nation than the current crew that we have in now. And I really believe this. I think they're all dead. I think they're all really dead and their, 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 their soul or something has been taken over by some evil, hideous, lying force because none of them can tell the truth. None of them. And, uh, I mean, look at the way they, what they look like. They all look plastic and sh they, I, I, I think they're zombies. I think the zombie apocalypse is real and we're seeing it evolve here from the president on down through Congress, the d demo freaks and the Republican freaks, all of them. Okay, this two-party system, <laughs> none of it's on your side. And I know no matter what I say, I can't convince those of you that are so polarized. No, 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 I must defend. I must defend. It's the greatest. <sighs> you know, you, you see what I'm talking about here. <laughs> it's too much, people. It really is. All right, look, so... Um, I think I covered a lot of stuff here that, you know, that, that, and I think I'm on point. Do you agree that I'm on point here? Uh, and again, with regard to, uh, you know, just all of this, I, I think that nobody out here has a better idea of what's going on than you do. Uh, all, all my entire mass of, of team members uh, all over the world. And I, I love all of you. That's the truth. I'm all about love. You know that. What do I say every Friday? Love each other, care about each other, and be charitable. Well, that's about spreading love. It's about being human here. There's no humanity anymore. Again, if you, me, like I just said, four death threats, four death threats in the last week because of my position on masks. Cause I, I, I don't. I think think it's a it's a whole farce. I don't think people should be wearing a mask. I think there is evidence that that is compiling every single day against wearing a mask. Even Dr. Fauci himself said, "Oh, it's very silly for Americans to wear masks." But now, oh no no no, you better wear that mask, or you're going to get shamed. You're going to get threatened, death threats if you're someone like me. You know, if you have even the slightest bit of like I don't know a name, okay, and I'm nobody. I know that. But believe me, you get stuff you would not believe. Uh, the, 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 the people, I mean, they're not even human anymore. What, what's happening? You know, you're not allowed to speak anymore. You're not allowed to share what you believe in or your convictions. Like I've explained to you, they take away your ability to speak. They strike at your convictions. And then they strike at your intellect. The three death blows, the pathway to tyranny. This has been the same way since time immemorial. You understand? So again, with regard to masks, I'm not posting a damn thing anymore. You're all adults, at least I hope you are. And uh, you make up your own decision. And you know, I, I'm not. Look, I'm just telling you my opinion on it. You can have your own. And I would imagine that most people out here, I mean, look, I've had four death threats in the past week. One, like I said, just about an hour ago. But, uh, you know, as you can see, uh, I, I, I believe me, I don't, I don't even pay much attention to these things. Because if someone wants to take you out or take me out, they're not even going to say a word. These are cowards, okay? And I'm talking to you cowards out here. I know you follow my work quite obviously. Only a coward would threaten people like that. And that's what they all are. They're all just cowards. You know, you want to do it? Go ahead, do it. Okay, I'm ready. I am prepared for the end. I know it could come at any moment. <laughs> anyway, look, with that said, this guy right here loves you a lot. Appreciate the video. See you tomorrow.